History is a lie. How were three sons of King Charles II described during the Jacobite uprisings? From the Memoirs of the Secret Services of John McKay Esquire, published in 1733. First off, at page 36, we have described Charles Lenos, Duke of Richmond, his son to King Charles II by the Duchess of Portsmouth. This is the depiction Wikipedia and most modern history books show us. Now let's read how he was described. Quote, he is a gentleman good-natured to a fault, very well bred and hath many valuable things in him, is an enemy to business, very credulous, well-shaped, black complexion, much like King Charles, not 30 years old. Second, John Mackey describes George Fitzroy, Duke of Northumberland. Son to King Charles II by the Duchess of Cleveland, was one of the captains of King James's horse guards, which he quitted at the Revolution. This is the depiction on Wikipedia. Now let's read how he was described. Quote, He is a man of honor, nice in paying his debts and living well with his neighbors in the country, does not much care for the conversation of men of quality or business, is a tall black man like his father the king, about 40 years old. Next. On the same page, we have two characters related to King Charles II, so I will read the description of both. Charles, Duke of St. Albans, his son to King Charles II by Mrs. Gwynne, was made by King William one of the bedchamber. This is the depiction on Wikipedia. Now let's read how he was described. Quote, He is a gentleman every way de bon naturel. Well-bred doth not love business, is well affected to the constitution of his country. He is of a black complexion, not so tall as the Duke of Northumberland, yet very like King Charles, turned of 30 years old. Below we have Charles Fitzroy, Duke of Graston, his grandson to King Charles II. Quote, is a very pretty gentleman, hath been abroad the world, zealous for the constitution of his country, a tall black man, about 25 years old. By now, the pattern is clear three sons and a grandson of King Charles II of the Stuart line were described being tall and of a black complexion, much like King Charles II. Before some smart idiot says, no, they are talking about hair color, please believe me, ignoring the fact, complexion in early modern English meant primarily the color of one's skin. Just like in contemporary English, this coping mechanism easily disproves itself. Charles Lennox and Charles Beauclerc. Both are depicted in their white Wikipedia images clearly having brown hair. So why are they described by a contemporary who lived at the time, John Mackey, as having a black complexion if complexion somehow means hair? Like and share for more lost history. God got a plan for me. Yes, he does. I know God. I know God got a plan. Stop shedding each other's blood. Don't deal with the morality. It displeases them. In sin. We are radical against wickedness in this earth. We are radical against sin. Against you robbing us. Right? Against you teaching our, our daughters immorality. Our daughters.